In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very sneaky, good, and effective route combination out of the U-Trips formation or the Y-Off Trips Pats formation. You can find this formation in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. And if you want to get my full U-Trips offensive ebook, uh, I want to encourage you to join my Patreon. I'm going to put a link to uh, that in the description. For just $10, bucks. you will be able to get access to all um, of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I'd really encourage you uh, to check that out. Now, like I said, this is going to be out of the U trips or the Y off trips Pats formation. And we're going to be taking a look at the play curl flat. And I got a really kind of uh, nice little variation of the setup uh, that I think is going to be really effective for a lot of the meta uh, that you're going to see, specifically man coverage. Uh, this is really good against. And all you need is an outside apprentice on your outside receiver, uh, which at this point in the year, most of us are going to have that uh, just based on where the meta is. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of a motion over. So uh, the setup is going to be basically... Uh, if I can get my uh, guys to cooperate. There we go. Um, the setup is going to basically be we're going to drag our tight end. We're going to streak our solo receiver. We're going to C route um, this right side guy, and we're going to motion him across. And then I like to go ahead and just block my running back for additional pass protection. So as you can see here, um, what we're going to get is this C route when we motion it over is going to cook man to man to that left side. It, very good uh, at getting separation. One of the things you're going to notice is that, you know, these little things that you pick up on is the fact that the C route is off the line of scrimmage is going to significantly help it um, against both man and zone. So I'm going to go to a little bit of a man cover zero type deal uh, where they may be user in over the middle. And again, if they're off coverage, you're going to see he's going to take that little step inside. Uh, I will say I think off coverage, if you don't have a receiver that has short out of lead or good route running, uh, can uh, at times you know make this difficult. But what I like about this play, like I said, is against press man-to-man, -man, this is going to be really good because of the fact that the C route is off the line of scrimmage. You're going to see they're never going to be able to press it, and it's going to make it that much better. Now, the way I like to throw it is to highball it and pass it outside. Uh, now, what another man beater on this play so that's going to cause them to have to put you know some kind of variation some zones over there it could be a couple different variations uh, but just for this example we're going to put a you know curl flat over there to try to defend uh, the c route so what you're going to see now is it's going to open up the middle of the field where I'm going to be able to hit uh, either my drag or I'm going to be able to hit my post. And this post is a really good man beater. Just pass lead it inside. It's been one of the most consistent routes all year long uh, for being able to attack man-to-man -man coverage. Now, if you don't want to put your tight end on a drag because, as you see, sometimes he can run into players or whatever, you can put him on a five-yard in. Uh, this five-yard in is pretty good as well. Again, just simple high-low to the left. Um, what, I, what we also have in this play uh, is a really good uh, bomb over the top against shaded down man. So let's say they're shading their man coverage underneath, right, because they know they can get a press on everybody. Maybe they're rolling their coverage like this because, again, they're they're anticipating the fact that they can get a jam, you know, on, on the uh, players. You're going to see that this, this streak on the left – um, is going to get this little instant win, and you can just highball um, that, you know, passing it up and over the guy. Um, so it could be a potential bomb threat. It's really good if they don't have any safety help, which, again, if, you know, if they're trying to stop a C route, you know, and they don't have any safety help, you know, they're going to give you something like, you know, something like uh, this right here, where maybe they're doing like a roll inverted coverage or whatever. And this is just always a good read off the line of scrimmage. The streaks are so good, so powerful this year. And you need to have a streak on every play this year, in my opinion. Um, it also helps us with zone coverage. So uh, we're going to be able to beat pretty much every zone in the game relatively easily. Um, I'm going to go to cover three real quick. One of the weaknesses of U-Trips is it doesn't have a great way to attack um, the corners on either side. This gives us that with this motion over C route. You're going to see here that because, again, it's backed off, the zones are going to suck inside to the streak, and then the C route is going to be wide open, whether it's cover four, whether it's cover three, cover two. The, the spacing on U-Trips is what makes this such a good play. 
um, and makes it such a good formation. We use a route combo like this. You see here again that outside quarter sucks inside. It has to do with where that slot receiver, um, or that I'm sorry, that solo receiver is actually lined up. Um, you know, so you're going to have a lot of that opportunity. Now, let's say they do run a cover two. This is really good against cover two. Um, but you can always check it down to the flat. Of course, if they match them, I guess you can't. Um, but against most zones, I would be shocked if they have a lot of, if you play a lot of players that are going to have a match zone on that. Uh, again, this is why we can drag him as well. Normally with the drag, he's going to get a little bit more underneath it. Um but anyway, the other thing you have against cover two is this this uh, C route's going to be wide open. They're going to have to make a significant amount of adjustments to stop the C route, and especially in zone. Um, they're definitely going to have to make some in man as well. But you know, they're going to have to like back these guys off, shade over top. You know, they're going to have to really overextend uh, to stop the C route. And when they do. Um, it should afford us opportunities to hit our tight end coming over the middle. The beauty of this specific C route, like I said, is the fact that it's off the line of scrimmage. Um, don't sleep on that. I think that makes a big difference. And, yeah, you have this backside check down in route. Now, let's say they go user the C route. What's so nice about this concept in general um, is if they go user the C route, we now have uh, a really, really good route. So I'm just going to illustrate that by just click or uh, manning up. The C route with one of the linebackers just to mimic, you know, that they might go user that, which is a possibility and something that, you know, honestly isn't a bad idea. Um, but again, because of the placement of the streak, you're going to see that this post is going to get into a really nice window right there that we can throw underneath cover four, cover three. Um, and we're also going to be able to throw it later in the play as well if we want. And let's just say we have all day in the pocket. Um, this post will run all the way across the formation. So, you know, if they're going to give us the time to be able to hit this post, this C route, this is where the play can be a little interesting because um, the C route can potentially be in a weird position. But you see how he's just going to get over the top just like that. So this play is incredible. Um, it's one of the best plays in the game, in my opinion. If you want to learn more about the Y off trips pads or the U trips offense, make sure to check out my U trips offensive ebook. The best way to get that is to uh, just join our Patreon. It's only ten bucks, and by joining a Patreon, you're going to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any updates to those ebooks um, and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.